round two. I already filmed this entire video once, didn't turn on the microphone. Uh, let's try this again. So last Monday I made a fall slash winters video called five fall fashion style tips where I talked about a couple of great fall and winter trends. And in that video I featured a number of different clothing items but I focused more on the actual trends rather than the individual uh, clothing pieces. So today I wanna show you guys seven must have clothing pieces for the seasons of fall and winter. You'll have seen a couple of these items in my last fall video and a couple of them are new. Also everything I talk about can be found in the description down below. Kicking it off with must have item number one that is an overshirt. So an overshirt is basically a shirt that you wear over your thinner material, such as in my case, a t-shirt. Overshirts are usually a little bit thicker and a little heavier than like a regular t-shirt, but they're not nearly as thick as like a real jacket. Overshirts are perfect for those pleasant fall days when you need a little extra something, but you're not wanting anything too heavy. And the one that I've got right here for this season is from Topman. I mean, black and white is always a solid choice because you can match it with pretty much anything. And the one that I've got here is uh, in a zip up style, but a lot of overshirts also come in button up. So it kind of just depends on the style that you prefer. And for must have item number two is gotta be sweaters. Like I mentioned in last week's video, in my opinion, there's nothing more seasonal than a nice cozy sweater. I mean, it, it makes me makes me realize that Christmas is right around the corner. My advice when it comes to sweaters is make sure that your piece stands out a little bit, whether it comes to the design or the material used. I tend to gravitate towards a sweater that has a little something to it rather than just being like one one single color that, that just kind of looks a little bit dull in my opinion. I mean, that's just personal preference. So for myself, I got this one. This is from Zara. And next up, Flannels. Just like sweaters, flannels are a perfect seasonal piece. When you think of a flannel in colder weather, you probably think of like a bright red flannel, and that's pretty much exactly what I went for. Your your stereotypical fall flannel. I mean, you know, it's nothing new and groundbreaking, but it's a great piece for the season, and it feels nice and soft, so I like it. And if it's a day when it's too cold to wear the flannel on its own, then you can always wear the flannel and match it with your sweater. Just like that. Because what's better than two different seasonal pieces? It's taking those two and combining it together. You're gonna be the season king. My flannel's also from Zara. I mean, what can I say? Zara does, does some great stuff. And number four on our list is scarves. Scarves are an excellent way of spicing up just like your, a simple outfit and also keeping you really warm and snug at the same time. For the winter, I would go with darker, cozier colors, kind of like this one that I've picked up here. And uh, I always like a good checkered or blocked design. So that's what I've got. If you are in the market for scarves, I recommend checking out ASOS right now. They have a fantastic selection of scarves for guys. This isn't a sponsor. They just have a, a bunch of great options. So uh, that will be linked down below. And as for the scarf that I've got here, this is from a store called Next, which I believe uh, is, it only has physical retail space in the UK, but they do have a USA website. So this scarf can also be found down below. All right, next up, we've got a couple of footwear items. And at number five, we're talking about some woolly socks. Honestly, if you've never picked up a pair of thicker socks, then, you, then you're missing out on something special. A little dirty secret of mine, I wear socks all the time. Uh, there's no exceptions. I have socks on my feet every day. The, I mean, the only time that I'm ever bare feet is uh, at the beach and that's it. See, when it comes to this time of year, not only can you pick up some fun seasonal designs and show off the playful side of your personality, but woolly socks will also help to keep your precious toes nice and toasty. Mine are from a brand called Fat Face and these specific ones are made with merino wool, which is a special type of thick, nice wool that comes from, uh, originally from New Zealand. And for must have clothing item number six, this is from last week's video as well. And that's a good pair of solid boots. Something rugged, something that looks good and it's gonna keep your feet warm. That's all packed into these guys right here. Now, personally, for this time of year, I prefer a boot that is a little bit more worn looking, a little bit rugged, um, you know, has that distressed wear and tear feel to it. I think that they look great and really fit in with the season's vibe. Personally, I would save a cleaner looking boot like the Chelsea boot for warmer months. I feel like the clean look just works better for that time of year, but that's, that's again, personal preference. Um, I'm just, I like these boots that I got here. These boots are from River Island. They were a limited edition. So if they're still around, they are linked down below. And finally, our last essential item for fall slash winter, it's an umbrella. Now, obviously this is gonna depend a little bit on where you live, but generally speaking, uh, it rains a lot more during the colder seasons. And actually this is the umbrella that I have, but I came across a really awesome, extremely portable umbrella called the Devec. 
the Davec Mini. Now this isn't sponsored and I, I don't even have the umbrella yet. I'm working on getting my hands on it. But it's absolutely tiny when it's not in use, which means I'm gonna take it with me way more often than something as big as this. I pretty much save this for a day when it's already raining outside and I have to go out. Otherwise, the portable factor of this mini umbrella means that I'm gonna have it with me in case it starts raining while I'm outside. Hopefully soon I can actually have the umbrella to demo here for you, but until then, if you are interested in this mini portable sized umbrella, that's linked down below. And just like that, the microphone was on for this round. Uh, end of video, hope that you guys found this helpful. If there's any more essential fall items that you feel I missed out, go ahead and link those down below. I'm curious to see what you guys think as well. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, thumbs up is always appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see everybody next time.